Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on creating twill plaids using both Illustrator and Photoshop. I got inspired to do this tutorial when I saw this vector plaid on a well-known stock photo website. So I went ahead and bought it, and I was very curious to see how they had created it. When I get in here, I saw exactly what I suspected I was going to see. It was created using individual diagonal lines to create a twill type of pattern. Now, not only is this difficult to create in the first place, it's also a little bit of a pain to update if you want to change the width of the warp or the weft lines. If I come in here and try to change the width of this, you'll notice the twill lines get all out of whack and nothing lines up neatly anymore. So it looks good and you could turn this into a pattern in your swatches panel and use it but it's not very easy to manage in the long run so this is not the technique I prefer to use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I like to do this. So what I've done is I've created these two blocks, my warp lines which are the vertical lines and the weft lines which are the left to right lines. And I do these in Illustrator because I'm more efficient using Illustrator to do this, but you could do this portion in Photoshop if you wanted. I'll jump over to Photoshop and show you what I've done. I've essentially just pasted those two blocks of color into Photoshop. Like I said, you could create your warp lines on one layer in Photoshop if you wanted to do it that way, and your weft lines on another as opposed to doing those in Illustrator. Uh, from here, what you're going to want to do is create a twill texture. So I'm going to start a new document. And I want that specifically to be 4 pixels by 4 pixels and a resolution of 300. Now I've chosen 300 because the resolution of the plaid that I've created already is 300. So you just want to match the resolution of your twill texture at 4 by 4 pixels to the resolution of the plaid file that you're working with. So 400, excuse me, 300. We'll zoom in because obviously that's very tiny. And we'll grab our pencil and we want to be working with a pen pencil size of one and from here using our pencil we just need to create a twill pattern and it looks something like this that's a repeating twill pattern right there so then I'm going to select all of that command or control A select all and I choose edit define pattern and we'll call this twill we'll jump back to our twill plaid and I'm going to create a new layer called Twill. And I'm going to select all on that Twill layer. So again, Command or Control A. And I'm going to choose Edit, Fill. And I want to fill it with a pattern from my drop down here. And I want to choose a custom pattern. And I want to choose that Twill pattern that we just made. So I choose OK. And we will zoom in. And you'll notice it's overlaid that pattern on top of my plaid. Now from here I'm going to choose Command D to deselect because right now I've got the entire canvas selected and I'll zoom back in and again using my magic wand I want to select the twill lines. Now I specifically want to make sure contiguous is not checked. So I select those twill lines on the twill layer. I now turn that layer off and I come down to my weft layer if you've done yours in the opposite order of mine, your warp is on top, your weft is on bottom, that's fine. You just want to make sure that the active layer now with this twill pattern selected is the layer that's on top. So I've got my weft layer here and I just choose delete, which is deleting whatever I had selected, which was the twill pattern from my top layer. Again, command or control D to deselect and you'll notice now I've got a nice twill pattern in my plaid. So from here, I want to bring this back into Illustrator because I want to use it to fill my artwork. So I choose File, Save, and I'll just choose Save As, although I've already saved it. And I can just keep it as a Photoshop document. You could save it as a JPEG, but I find it easier to save one master Photoshop document and place that into Illustrator. So I'll jump over to Illustrator, and I will choose File, Place, Twill, bring that in. I'm going to choose embed and it's asking me how I want to embed it with the Photoshop options. I want to flatten layers to a single image. Choose OK. Now I'll just drag and drop that into my pattern swatches and I will select all white filled portions on my shorts and fill it with the pattern swatch. Now that looks pretty good. 
if I all of a sudden decided that I wanted to change the lines, I can just come in here to my custom plaid and I say I want this line, this weft line to be green and let's make this one this dark gray for something a little bit more visibly changed. So we'll copy that, jump back over to Photoshop. We will delete those weft lines, we'll paste a new set of weft lines. Come back to our twill layer. Use our magic wand to select that. Turn that off. Make our weft layer again the active layer. Delete. Deselect. Now our plaid's updated. Now I can just save over. Unless I want to save a new version, I could. I'm just going to save over the previous version. So I just hit Command or Control S. I'll jump back to Illustrator. Now my original plaid is still going to be there because it's embedded. So now this plaid JPEG swatch is actually part of the Illustrator file. So I can still keep all the plaids. So again, I choose File, Place, and there's a nice shortcut here for CC users. It's new, Command Shift P to Place. And we will choose the twill again that's now been updated. Embed that. And you'll notice it looks a little bit different than the one that we just did. So I could drag and drop that into my pattern swatches. Come over here and maybe I want to do two versions of my short. So just make a copy there. And I can decide which one I like better. So you can see I was really quickly able to manipulate the plaid much more quickly than I'm able to do it if it's drawn vector with all these individual lines created to create the twill. So hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching. This is So Heidi. I'll see you next time.